the strong, the bun, which is a thick all beef patty. I mean, not patty. Patty? Strong. Look at that. It looks like a hot dog. Welcome back, Fluffy Foodies. We're back for another one, and today we're at a gas station. Yeah, we're at a gas station. What gas station are we at? My favorite. What's your favorite gas station? The best one we have around here, which would be Cumberland Farms. And they have hot food, cold food, milkshakes, smoothies, drinks, you name it. And coffee. They have it. They have a big, huge variety of milkshakes and coffee and sodas. He got a frozen coffee to uh to start but what we're here for is yes. one thing and one thing only food food and hot, not just any food hot foods hot foods we want to <laughs> know how good is cumbies hot food and we grabbed a little bit of everything that was cumbies not something that's from someone else that just put it on their hot food bar we grab stuff that is cumbies exclusive kind of thing yep and what are they known for they're Food? Tornadoes. Yeah. Tornadoes. That's their thing. Tornadoes, which the tornadoes we got, there's one that's a steakish one. And then there we got a French toast one. Yeah, we got the steak one. We got the French toast one. Then didn't we get a yeah, French toast and sausage? And we got the egg roll. Yeah, isn't there like a bacon, egg and cheese? We didn't grab that no, one. No, we didn't grab that one. We grabbed and then we got a delicious hot dog ima. We got a nice hot dog. It's all all the tornadoes, the hot dogs were all on rollers. But what we're gonna try right off the bat, which is one thing that a lot of people come here to get, you can get a slice of pizza, you can get frozen pizza. Well, it's not really frozen, it's yeah, you can just get cook it frozen. It. You can get it frozen, but they also have it where you just cook it yourself, bring it home and put it in. Or they can cook it for you. Or, or they like can cook it for you. Eight bucks or seven bucks, whatever. So it's your choice. Thing. You can come here and get a whole large pizza that you get at a restaurant, bring it home, and cook it for yourself. And it's cheaper to get a whole pizza because it's price for slices have gone up. So we're going to try the pizza first. All right. And depending what time they put it on there, really affects it. So these are the pizzas. This was we on got there. pepperoni. Yep. They do have a limited type exclusive right now, which is uh, taco pizza. So if you have a Cumberland Farms near you, that does everything, not just a Cumberland Farms that gives you gas and gives you the basics. You want something yeah. that does everything. We'll talk about. So yeah, this pizza is not bad. The crust is really soft for a frozen pizza. You got your cheese, you got your pepperoni, you got your sauce. It's all got good flavor. Pretty addicting in my opinion. Had a nice underbelly on the crust. Now, yeah. if you want to buy a whole pizza and cook it yourself at home, what are we looking at? What do you mean, like price wise? Yeah. Or, yeah, it's like eight bucks or so. Eight bucks for a whole large pizza? Yeah. You bring home and cook it yourself. That's cheaper than a DiZorno's, and I bet you this pizza is bigger than a DiZorno's. And you build it yourself. You're gonna build the designers at your house and cook it in the oven yourself. Why not come here for eight bucks and get an actual more fresh version than you would get by a designer's pizza? Yeah, it is way better than doing it. I could eat this every day if I could, but I can't. To me, the crust reminds me of Chuck E. Cheese or buffet pizza, which is still good. You can tell this is sat out for a while, so you're gonna get that unless you make it yourself in French. But for a sitting out piece of pizza, it, it warms up. We're it's, asking, yeah, good point. They just put it into the crust. It definitely has been out for a while. I won't be finishing this piece. It's too hard for me. And the slices come in bags. It's just a little bag container. Yep, like we shown you in the beginning. So what's your rating? For a pizza? I'm gonna give it a solid six. I'm gonna go solid 7.5. Cause it's one of the better ones for frozen pizza. I still think the Stranger Things did the best job for frozen pizza though, in my opinion. Personally, I'm biased. That's probably my favorite frozen one. 
I, I, I'm actually intrigued to actually just come here, buy a large frozen pizza, bring it home and cook it, and then see what we'll see how it is at that point. But for sitting out, I'm gonna give it a solid six for that. All right, well, let's move on to the hot dog, the wiener. Yeah. The strong, the bun, which is a thick all beef patty. I mean, not patty. Patty? Strong. Look at that. Yeah, it looks like a hot dog. You can get buns. They're in a, a little drawer right under where the hot dogs are. They're not steamed. They're not warm. They're just sitting there in a drawer. Personally packaged for eat. It ain't bad. It's a hot dog. Okay, Definitely see. all beef. You can taste the complete just beef, none of that artificial flavor. Oh, given that, it does taste like all beef. I think. It is pretty good in that sense. But, and it's uh, thick. It it's is, a yeah. thick boy. And I think it's two for three <clears throat> fifty. you yep. can get for a hot dog with a bun. They have condiments in there. You can put ketchup, mustard, relish, and stuff like that if you choose to. Whoops, sorry guys. For that one, solid seven for me. I'm a co I'm a hot dog person. Yeah, I guess that was a pretty good all around hot dog. I'll go I'm a hot seven. dog person. I love hot dogs, and um, hamburgers are my next, and then pretty much anything barbecue. If it's covered in barbecue sauce, I'll pretty much devour it myself. But I'm giving it a solid seven. Yeah, it, it deserves it. It was a good hot dog. What do you want to try next? We can try the French toast thing, I guess. All right, let's try French toast. So this is the French toast whatever this is supposed to be. Now take the one where the piece came out. So we got dough, like a French toast dough. Yes, yeah, so French and toast sausage, that's right. And it's sausage inside. Let's dink it. I totally wasn't trying to pull it out. And <laughs> sink it. And these are on rollers too. Cause it's constantly rolling. Not bad. The only thing I think it's missing is some maple syrup to dip in. Five. I go six point five. I'm not the biggest breakfast person anymore because I used to eat it so much as a kid. So personally. I'm not into so much breakfast food as yeah, I thought I it was pretty good. But maybe if there was some syrup dipping with it, I'm definitely would up it up. But solid five for me. What do you want? Uh, the steak or the egg roll? Let's do the egg roll. <clears throat> the egg roll has, I want to say chicken. Yeah, it should be a chicken cabbage mix, I imagine. Chicken, cabbage, carrots. Semi crispy. Not bad. It's got a good flavor for an egg. I'm pulling yeah. cabbage and carrots are really pulling through, and then you get that chicken flavor. So honestly, I really like this. Seven. Better by the, than the ones you can get at the store by far. I'm gonna be store bought. <clears throat> frozen ones suck. Yeah, they, I'll give it like a 7.3. Good one. They are pretty good. So, we got one final one for you guys. It's the steak tornado, which has steak and cheese inside and a little bit of a spicy outside. I don't know about this one. Look at all that pull. It's pulling. <clears throat> it smells taco y spicy. Dink it, sink it. Interesting. Reminds me of a taquito. Definitely reminds me of a taquito. And it's got a heavy kick. It's got a good kick to it. I can taste the taquito. It doesn't... I mean, yeah, I suppose it does. I'm not really getting too much of a kick. Maybe I need another bite. Like, you're not a little bit, not very much. I got all in the back of my throat. I 
I'm going to give that an 8. That was the better one for me. So in all all, it would pretty much be the t that one. The taquito one for me would be the better one. And then it will probably much be pizza. Oh, uh, yeah. Hot dog. Uh, got a little more kick. French toast was down on the gutter. A egg roll was not too bad either. So all in all, I'll be coming here if I need something for a quick lunch to eat. Just grab it off the shelf and walk out. Oh, yeah. I can taste the heat. <laughs> can taste it now? It's building yeah. up. Yeah, it's in. Oh, yeah. I didn't eat that one, did I? No. No. Okay. So for me, I'm not really into taquitos as much, but that was a pretty solid taquito. So once again... I'll just give it a seven. Pretty much those stuff, like the French toast one, the one we just had, they call them <clears> tornadoes, <throat> but uh, we're saying taquito just for some facts that's what it pretty much references. Yeah. But if you can only pick one of the rollers, which one? Hot dog. Oh, oh, yeah, you said that. And then for me, I think I'd have to go with the French toast. But the pizza's actually solid. If you guys want to see us review a pizza straight from here, bring it home, cook it, and then review it for you guys, let us know in the comments below. We will do that for you. And if there's any other gas stations in the Connecticut area you want us to try their hot food or maybe their cold food, if that's what they're known let for, us know. let us know down in the comments below. But as always, we're here so you don't have to travel to the store and get something and waste your money for something that sucks. Let us do it for you, <clears throat> and we'll give you our honest review. But as always, guys, today is a good day. So have a good day. God, God bless. bless. Peace. Peace.